In this video, we're going to talk about Warhammer The Old World rumours and how likely they are or are not going to be. As ever though, as it is rumours, you should definitely take this with a pinch of salt. There's no guarantee that any of this is right. But generally for me, where there's smoke, there's often fire. So let's talk about it. I want to start with rumours for the Corset box. And there's effectively been two rumours here. A year or so ago, it was rumoured that the starting box would be humans versus orcs and goblins. And for me, that is probably the most obvious likely choice when you think about about starter boxes you're bringing back the old world it's literally in the name it's all about nostalgia well what races do i think of when i think of warhammer fantasy humans and orcs and goblins they're pretty damn classic it would make perfect sense however it's now rumored that that is not going to be the case and that idea was scrapped instead the most recent rumor from fate 212 is that the starter box will be kislev versus chaos presumably worries of chaos i would guess there but who knows might not be and definitely kislev would make some kind of sense they are humanoid based obviously and people like humans that just goes without saying and in that area i believe that there's some like chaos portals so it all actually like makes sense geographically and it sort of makes sense that um kislev are going to be not the new faction but you know what i mean we've seen it with warhammer total war that they're actually redoing Kislev and making those armored burrs and all that kind of stuff. They're obviously working on Kislev, so we know that that's coming. So therefore, it would sort of make sense to put them in the starter. However, for me, the fact that Kislev weren't like a very common Warhammer Fantasy army in the past. Yes, you could play it, but it's not like they were very frequent because they weren't the main supported. They weren't really one of the main armies. So putting an army that isn't really the most common one for your starter box might be a little bit weird. But then again, it is effectively humans versus chaos. It's quite a classic one, so it sort of would make sense. And actually, you would want some new models in that starter set because otherwise, you know, what are you doing? I'm thinking about buying an empire army. Imagine if I now buy my empire army, I paint it all up and then they do a starter box and they've actually redone most of the models that I were currently using. I would feel a little bit like, oh, is that that's a little bit awkward for me, isn't it? So it sort of makes sense in that regard. But yeah, I, I don't know. A bit of me just assumed that it would be like something like humans versus orcs and goblins. Now they could, if they really wanted to, maybe bring back some of the older starter boxes. I don't think that this would make sense. But obviously the two classic ones would be Battle for Skull Pass, which I think is dwarfs versus orcs and goblins. And then the more recent one was the Island of Blood, which was High Elves versus Skaven. Now the reason I'm even breaking them up is because it was also rumoured recently by Hastings. And I have to say Hastings, I generally do believe because that man has been around for quite a long time. I say man, technically don't know his gender, but you know what I mean. He's been around for quite a long time and his rumours in the past were always like reasonably accurate. It might not be this time, but he basically said that the old models have gone back into production. Does that include some of the core sets? I think that's unlikely, but I just wanted to throw that out there that those gold core sets technically could be reused. I just think that they're not going to do that. Not for the core sets. I do think that the models are back in production. And when we got the more recent update that had Bretonians, Orcs and Goblins on and stuff like that, I think that was an indication that some of those old models that were already plastic are coming back and they're just going to reuse the molds and resell them basically. The other rumours are generally concerning the rules. It's rumoured right now that the rules are complete. Now that makes complete sense to me because in the last update they said that they were basically consistently playtesting. You can't playtest a rule set unless it's vaguely finished, right? Sure, you're going to make tweaks, but it generally implies that most of the rules are at least mostly done. So the rumour is that the rules are complete and that makes sense. Partly because it seems to be based primarily on 7th edition rather than 8th edition. And I hope that's true because 8th edition introduced like these hard armies and quite frankly, wasn't my favorite edition and if we don't get the hordes whilst they visually looked cool they were a little bit awkward in terms of like model count and stuff like that i just wasn't a huge fan but if we don't get hordes and we get something sort of like seventh but better i'll be vaguely happy i almost wish for a bit more like revolution more than evolution but i know we're not going to get that if the game sort of followed something like the uh, song of ice and fire game with like alternate activations and easier movement i would also be quite happy it's not like i'm overly nostalgic for the game rules i'm more nostalgic for how it looked and how it felt but that doesn't seem to be the case we're going to get like seventh but better basically hopefully one big rumor is obviously the release date the rumor is that that they originally had planned for it to be released in the middle of 2023 because they started working on this in 2019 and that's the time that they set and then something happened worldwide which may have caused some issues covid so does that mean we've now pushed it back from 2023 to 2024 it's unknown obviously next year is basically the 40th anniversary so it would make a lot of sense to try and release it next year but whether or not they're ready or not ready 
I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. There's no hard and fast rumor saying when that's coming. With that most recent update that GW did provide, it sort of felt like the tone was, hey, we're sort of getting a little bit closer to this. We're going to give you some big updates in 2023. And I think we'll at least get some big updates in 2023, even if the release ends up being like 2024. I think we'll start seeing a lot more information next year. In my personal opinion, it's a bit of a toss up between 2023 or 2024. Can't imagine it being 2025. So let's see. It's not really exactly proven at this point but I would love to see it next summer or even next winter would be fine I say next winter because in my personal life the Shatterpoint game is coming out in June or something like that the new Star Wars skirmish game I wouldn't necessarily like them to release at the same kind of time that would cause me a few different problems but then let's talk about sales model it's rumored that they're going to go with the classic GW sales model all of the old armies are basically going to need a compendium and the main rule book if you have your army obviously you'll need your army now I imagine that that compendium might be just broken down into like a few like the good guys bad guys stuff like that you know chaos allies of grand alliance or whatever you know what i'm talking about they'll be broken down like that i think now the next room was talking about the frequency of sales this one sounds a little bit unlikely to me but maybe it's possible they say that effectively once per year we'll get a rule book of an army we'll get like a faction models i'm presuming and then spread out over 12 months you'll get new releases that to me sounds a little bit crazy because if you've just got a new army book you're not going to want to then release new models after it because what you're going to do where well, you're going to put those rules are you going to make them buy another book i don't know that sounds a little bit crazy to me but that was also on fate one two two one two that sounds a bit weird to me but that was also on fate two one two they did say in the same rumor that the new releases are going to be both plastic and resin the resin will be from Forge World and the plastic could be from GW. That could make sense if we get cross kits from like Age of Sigma. Maybe the Games Workshop will do both those and then the Forge World will do just pure Warhammer, the old world stuff. So I could understand that. Apparently the first releases will be Kislev and the Chaos Faction because they're obviously going to be with the starter set if you believe the earlier rumor. And the Empire, which makes sense. I think people just like humans. It's sort of like a, a, a grounding point to have a humanoid faction even though Kislev are humans, Empire are the classic humans. I'm a little bit surprised not to see Cathay in this sort of early schedule because we've seen with Total War Warhammer that they are working on that faction. They've already done art and stuff like that. I suspect that that will be revealed early-ish as well. Maybe that's going to be the fourth faction. So that's most of the rumors that we've heard so far. If there's any that you think are legitimate, do put in the comments below. Maybe try and cite your source if you can as well. Obviously, you can take all of this with a pinch of salt. It's rumours at the end of the day. They may or may not be true. I'm not like uh, Chapter Master Varwick. I don't have an, in an inside source who's telling me these stuff, who I've like, validated over time. These are just internet rumours. They may or may not be true. As I said, I'm a little bit surprised if they went with um, Kislev and Chaos as a starter box. It makes sense, but for me, it makes more sense to do Empire and Orcs and Goblins. But if that's not what they're going to do, then that's not what they're going to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, which you definitely do. Have a most beautiful day. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.